Uh, it was a good workout. I thought uh, we went through quite a different or quite a few different progressions and uh, a lot of three on three and some different types of shooting. So it was a good, good overall workout. He did a lot of different things. Uh, this is number 11 for me total. So I got one more tomorrow and uh, it'll be finished. I think so. <laughs> it's been quite a bit of travel. I know, I know some guys have done quite a bit more, including, you know, uh, Shelvin, my teammate from Butler. So, uh, you know, I guess it's enough. For me, it is anyway. It's tough, tough traveling on bigger guys. <clears throat> they got you in Copes then? Uh, most of the time. I've been able to get, I've been able to get an exit row, uh, you know, or someone's traded me. Uh, you know, someone's been nice and traded me on the plane. So it hasn't been that bad. Uh, you know, it. There, there's different challenges. You know, you play you play a smaller guy. He's probably a little more crafty. Uh, so there's there's challenges with uh, no matter who you play. And when you come into these workouts, it doesn't matter who you're going up against. They're really good players. And so uh, it doesn't matter if you got a guy like Pop that's in, extremely long and uh, very uh, athletic. Or if you got a you know a guy that's uh, a little bit smaller but really crafty, can shoot the ball, has got a lot of different moves. The run you guys made at the last couple of years, did that help prepare you not only for these workouts but you know, for, for the next step? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, you play against all all types of different guys, and once once you get into the tournament, you play not only uh, really good teams but really good players. So uh, you got to be prepared for uh, everything, and and I think the tournament definitely helps you see a lot of these guys and uh, get you ready to play against them. Yeah, Gordon is, uh, Gordon's been in town in, in Indianapolis and I uh, actually was working out to play some working out when I'm home. So got to see him and uh, just get his thoughts on this process. Uh, you know, Gordon was a little bit different. Um, you know, his situation, he, uh, you know, there's no guarantees, but, uh, you know, the, where he was and who was looking at him was a lot different. Um, but, you know, he can, he just tells you how to, you know, he's saying how to come in here, what to be prepared for. And, you know, it always helps to talk to somebody that's been there before. When you look at, uh, <clears throat> you guys, you know, made it a long run in the postseason two years in a row. Are guys going at you, you think, harder because you do have a name and people know who you are? Uh, I highly doubt that. I ha or <laughs> doubt that's the reason why. Um, just because, you know, they know what they're competing for. Uh, and it doesn't matter who or what that other guy's done up to, up until this point. Uh, you know, all that can change in a workout. Or, you know, you only need one team to really like you. So I, I highly doubt it. Uh, you know, I don't. it doesn't seem that way. Uh, you know, none of the guys are have said anything like that, so I don't think that's I don't think that has anything to do with it. Uh, you know, I just you know I want to get picked up by somebody, or you know have uh, have the opportunity to keep playing here and uh, or in the NBA, and it doesn't matter um, you know who it is, where it is. Uh, I just want to keep playing. Uh, there, you know, there, there's no direct feedback. You know, some guys, uh, you know, maybe in different situations get that type of feedback. For, but for me, uh, you know, I haven't got anything direct, uh, you know, as far as someone saying they, you know, really, really like you, we want to pick you. Um, you know, I think I'm in a situation where they have to really reevaluate after every pick, uh, you know, and, know, and seeing who's there. And uh, so I, there's, there, you know, there's no guarantees. I haven't heard anything for sure yet. Uh, you know, I think I think it maybe it'll depend on uh, the matchups and who's playing. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna add probably have to add a little bit of weight to play the four. Um, um, but you know, at my size, I'm, I may be m comparable more to three. So uh, you know, I don't know. It'll depend on the situation, the team, and probably who's playing uh, for the other team. How do you kind of project yourself as a pro? I mean, as a small forward, how do you kind of compare yourself to? 
Uh, you know, there's there's probably not a whole lot of guys that play like me, but one guy I really like to watch is uh, Udondas Haslam, and I think uh, you know there's some similarities there. Uh, you know, he may be a little bit more athletic, but you know, again, an undersized type of player who just you know plays really hard and does whatever it takes to uh, you know make his team better. Do you think the fact that you were uh, a big in college? You go to the pros. That'll help you when you do if you do play some three. Uh, you know, I think it will. Um, but at the same time, you know, you could say that it may be it's hurt me to have played that for so long. When uh, at the next level, I'm not going to be, you know, a post or a five. So, um, you know, you can look at it both ways. But it does help to have that uh, some of those skills, you know, in your repertoire. Are there some skills you've been able to show? You think during these workouts that you maybe couldn't get into the show with Butler? Yeah, you know, one of all the things I've been working out um, or working on in my workouts, uh, you know, in the place I was talking about with Gordon, is uh, you know we've been working on pickups, you know, dribble pickups, shooting uh, to the NBA three line, and you know all that's gotten more comfortable, and it's it's things that I didn't do at Butler, and so uh, you know everything everything I've worked on has been different than uh, you know the way I played at Butler.